Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to episode 5 of Autonotom. And, um, I've been doing a little bit in between episodes. I went down to my mine, and I cleared up all the ores and stuff. So I've been, well, there's not much left in here, because I, t I smelted everything that needed to be smelted. Then I've started a bit of a storage section down here so I've got like 162 diamonds I mean the logs I've been using lots of logs for the for the furnace because the two the pulvis and the furnace they take a lot of energy but we've got tons of redstone tons of not so not so many uh, lapis but we still got quite a lot of lapis I've got I think that's coal in that one there's lead uh, netherrack, osmium, gold, copper, you know, all the usual suspects, and of course iron in there. So I've done, so I've started a little storage area. I've been smelting everything. Also, I've just realised that if I press shift, I can see what's inside my, um, my, my chests. I don't know what mod does that, but that's pretty cool. Um, I did some exploring as well. Let's bring up the map, turn it to day so that we can see it. And no, zoom in. I don't want to zoom in because I I went pretty far. I went all up here. Just I took a bed and just went walking. And there are loads of villages. Loads and loads and loads of villages. Actually, I'm not even sure what that is. Oh, I think that's, um... It looked like it was supposed to be a church that spawned there, but it didn't. So I think that's what, what that might be. And there was, like, a graveyard next to it, which was pretty cool. But, um... But, yeah, I just went, just went out exploring. I wanted to see if I could actually find... Uh, different biomes, but they all seem to be like taiga or plains or you know usual foresty type things. It's not the, nothing of interest. So that's what I've been getting up to. So today, what I would like to do is that I was just having a look at some of the quests because I realise I've been very focused on getting like getting started done. And, well, I think I might give this a little bit of a break. Although I think I might need to make this. The, um, the portable nullifier. Although, to be honest, I didn't look, actually look and see what I need to make it. But I was thinking maybe that. And also what I want to start getting into is some kind of power generation. So we can look at powering up and doing the first one, coal coke. Because, as I said, the pulvus and the furnace take huge amounts of coal. I mean, I was running through coal like crazy. And also, um, uh, charcoal. I was burning wood, I was making charcoal, doing all kinds of stuff, just so that, you know, I could keep these running. So we need to start looking at power options pretty soon. So... Can I get out this way? No, I can't. I didn't actually think about that. I just thought, yeah, I just need to brick up the door. Doorway. I should have bricked up this doorway and kept that one. Um, what did I do with... I can use my Paxel. So I will take those two out. And put them there instead. Right. That's why you can use this door. <laughs> oh, I got a little bit dizzy there for a second. I kind of lost my way. Turn off F7. And what did I come outside for? Now I've forgotten. I think that might be a sign of old age. I can't remember what I came outside for. Okay, let's go back in. No. Um, what was that thing called? 
portable overflow nullifier. Nullifier. Yeah, portable overflow nullifier. Okay. Fluid item. Aeon. Wonder what that is. Okay, so I need cobblestone, a stick, and a lava bucket. Okay, that's simple. We can get that done. I need to close the door. I don't want any creepers or anything following me into the house. Although one of the quests is to kill, I think, like 20 creepers, 20 zombies, and 20 endermen. Which should be interesting. <laughs> that would be very interesting. Luckily, I've got my bow and arrow. Alright, so we need four cobblestone. I have a lava bucket. Is there any sticks in here? That's a treated stick. Oh, we have one stick. And what was the other thing we needed? No, that was it. No, wrong thing. Portable overflow nullifier. So how did it say you use it? Um, it will auto pick up to a stack of the item you specify and then destroy any more that it picks up. Okay. You can also make block forms of this pipe, of this, to pipe items, fluids and energy into if you have excess. Okay. So you can make a, a block that acts as a as a nullifier to pipe items, fluids and energies into. I think that makes sense. It's a pity that this doesn't have... Does the useful nullifiers have any kind of documentation? Useful... Oh, okay. So you've got the sticks, I guess you have those in your inventory. Oh, I see. And then you have... These obviously have to be... Oh, that Aeon is all in one. Is that Obsidian? Yeah. And then these must be the block forms that you can pipe things into. Okay, I guess it acts kind of like a trash can. From, my, from what I can understand from that. I mean, you got, I know you guys will, you know, let me know if I've gotten the wrong end of the stick. But I think that's what it is. Right. So in that case, let's put that away. Uh, backpack. There you go. Put that in it. Uh, I've been putting my my tools in my backpack. And let's make some coke bricks. So I need clay. I need sand. No, sand might be in one of these two. No, not in that one sand actually let me take the stack and I need let me take some more clay out take a full stack of clay and I need to smelt bricks as well so that's going to keep going and let's have a look at the recipe Okay, coke brick. So we need, to get three bricks, we need four bits of clay, four bricks, and one sandstone. And we need how many for the quest? Oh, I need to pick a loot chest. Pick the one in the middle. No, I didn't pick that, did I? Getting started, get that, and claim. That's it. Powering up. We need 27. Okay. So we need to make nine sets. Is that all gone into the thing? Yes. And, oh, there's some there's stuff that was smelting up yesterday. While I was um, doing my little story drum downstairs. Okay. 
let's make the sandstone in here. Uh, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's it. So that's nine sandstone. We have clay, we have bricks. So the bricks went round like this. The clay, let's see if I've remembered. Went round like this. There you go, coke bricks. And we want nine. Nine sets. Where are we? 27. Okay, let's, oh, so we get an engineer's hammer, engineer's manual, and eight blocks of coke. Coal, sorry, which is excellent. <laughs> Achievement made. Hammer! Okay, treated wood. Now that we have some creosote oil, we can use it to make treated wood. Okay, I haven't made. Okay. So I guess this means I'm going to have to make the coal coke oven, right? Because I will be perfectly honest, I know absolutely nothing about immersive engineering. I know you have machines. Oh, is it getting dark? Oh, it's dark already. I know you have machines, and I've moved my bed next to the nice pretty window. But, yeah, you have machines, you make creosote oil and stuff, and you can make steel out of it, and it's all very, I don't know, engineering stuff. And I know nothing about it. So let's have a look in the manual. Update news? No, there's no update news. Okay, so this gives an overview of what we need. Construction. Okay. Uh, power tools, basic wiring. Oh yeah, this has all the wires and stuff. This should be interesting. This should be interesting. Okay. Well, give me a second and I will look and I'll have a look and see how to make the simple machines. Oh, this has the conveyor belts. And the garden cloche. I know about those. But I'm pretty sure. Heavy machinery? No. Um, with the coal coke, you make a blast furnace? Did I just see that somewhere? That's the improved blast furnace. Uh, crude blast. Oh, coke oven. That's what we need. Okay. Uh, first important machine you need, and it creates creosote oil. You can burn wooden logs into charcoal with this oven. Okay, so we have a coke oven. You need 27 of these blocks in a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube. Right click on one of the sides with the engineer's hammer. And, okay. And it has a really nice animated little diagram which is awesome I mean I kind of I know it's a lot of work but I wish more mods came with this kind of you know some kind of documentation I have the hammer on me don't I right yes because it's really annoying when you get to something and then it's like well there's no documentation I don't know what to do and then you're you know you're stuck trying to find YouTube videos on how to do it Okay, let's put our coal coke oven here. And there's our bricks. Two, three. Counting with Shane. And fill 
those up. And let's see, this is the side face in the house. Where is our hammer? There you go. I feel like I've accomplished something. So if we right click on this, that's where you'd put in whatever you're smelting. I guess the coke would go in there. Coal, coal coke, block of coal coke, wood, charcoal, and you get creosote oil from here. It takes a really long time. From, from watching other people's videos, I realise it takes a really long time. Like I said, I've never actually done anything with immersive engineering. I mean, I've made a couple of simple machines because I had to, but I don't really understand. I didn't really understand what I was doing. So that's in, and it's taken a long time, but we've started it, which is good. So while we're waiting for that, let's do something else. Going back to getting started, we made the nullifier. Oh, okay, compaction drawers and drawers controller. Draw a draw controller. We can do that. Actually, I need to go and get the the pistons. Because you need those. Sorry, buddy. I hope the landlord doesn't mind us ripping up their garden for the resources. I'll fill that in later. Stairs? Do we need stairs for anything? No. But we need the pistons. Okay, so... Compact in draw, you need two pistons, a draw, iron, and stone. Did I cook up any stone? I think I did. Yes, I did. I need... Did I pick those up? Yes, I did. Okay, so... Compact and draw. Oh, iron. I think there is iron in... No, there's no iron in there. I took it out. Didn't I have iron in... No, I must have put it away. I thought I had iron with me. Okay, use the normal crafting table because the other fancy crafting table does not register for quests. Oh, we need four. No, that was the con that was the controller, right? That's a compacting drawer. No, we need three more of those. Okay, um, compacting drawer. Got two. We need to go make. We need to go get some more pistons. I should have been raiding pistons from every village I went to. I don't know why these stairs... Why am I hovering over the stairs? The stairs don't like me. Did I take those? I've already taken those. Okay. Let's make some pistons. Close that door. Because we don't live in a barn, as your mother would tell you. You don't live in a barn. Shut that door. Okay. Um, piston. Redstone, cobble, iron, and planks. Okay. Do we have any? I don't have any cobble in there. I think I needed eight cobble. Probably, I think six planks. 
Do I have enough iron? I have two. I probably need to take some more. And block of redstone. Am I full? Yes, I am. Um, what can I get rid of? The arrow for now. I'll come back and get that. Okay, so we are looking for draw. Con no, it's the controller. Compacting draw. Piston. Oh, can you not shift click stuff into it? That's annoying. I kind of like shift clicking stuff because then I can't. It lets you know when you have things. I know. It's the piston we're making. The redstone. I need to convert my redstone. Okay, so now is that everything? Piston. I've got enough to make two pistons, which is awesome. Oh, I need some more drawers. If I've only got two pistons, that only makes one more draw. I need to make... Uh, let's see. Of course it would fall down the stairs. Put you in there. See? I just fell down the stairs just now. I don't know what it is, why the stairs don't like me. I'm not dexterous. Compacting drawers. There's one more. What am I missing? Just cobblestone. Okay, compacting drawers. No, wrong thing. One. Really? Um, let's get rid of you for a second. Okay. Cobble, redstone, iron, planks. What am I missing? Pretty much everything. <laughs> okay. Let's make some space in my inventory. Paper. Oh, I picked that up from a village. Brick. Don't need that right now. Don't need the sand. Don't need the clay. I probably should have put the bricks in with the clay. Um, I need the redstone. Don't need the dirt. Litherite crystal. Got that from a village. Definitely don't need saplings. Or levers. Um, everything else is stuff that I need. Okay, now that I've said that, I can't remember what else I needed. Um... What are we missing? Cobble and planks. Alright, let's take some more cobblestone. Some more planks. It's very handy that all you need to do, in case you're wondering, I'm holding my mouse key over the item that I want, and I can just scroll it in. It makes life a lot easier. And I believe that is a, a vanilla mechanic. You don't need to have any mods installed for that. But again, you, I know you guys would, you know, help me out if I'm wrong, but I do think that is a, a vanilla mechanic. Okay, for contra contracting, contracting? No, compacting drawers. And we need a drawer controller. So we need a diamond. What's this heart diamond thing? Heart diamond. What? Rosek loves Cheshire Rose. Two years and five months together. Did he put in a shout out for his girlfriend? It's really cute if he did. But that's interesting. I don't know if you mine it or something, but that's pretty cool. Redstone comparator. You need candles. I think that's what this pack has for torches. No, redstone torches. So you need redstone torches. For some reason it called it was this resource pack. It's converted them into candles. So, three redstone torches, a piece of nether quartz, all certes quartz, 
and three stone. So we need to go back and get some redstone. Oh, back up the stairs. I'm really going to have to think about if I want everything on two levels. Because this is really annoying. <laughs> I didn't think about that when I started. Um, quartz. Quartz is back downstairs. Um, we need one piece per comparator. Right? And I need some sticks. Um, oh, I have, oh, I have a lot of sticks anyway. So that's okay. Right, so... How many redstone torches do we need? Compaction draw, draw controller. Three per, so that's six redstone torches. Three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. There you go. So six of those. Three stone and one quartz. And in a second, I will explain what these do. So that's enough for two comparators. The draw controller I need. Did I not have? Oh, I must have used up all the drawers. Actually, I can make another draw now. If I make a chest, put the chest in the middle, put a line of planks on the top, a line of planks on the bottom. And there's a draw. And I need a diamond. Did I leave any diamonds up here? I don't think I did. I think I took them all downstairs. Okay, so... Draw controller. That should be everything. Is that it? There you go. Compaction draw and draw controller. Let's pick a loot chest and take it. Hopper upgrades. I didn't know you could upgrade. Oh, to the nether. We need to make we need to make some obsidian. Okay. But basically, your draw controller draw controller, you use that with a bank of storage drawers. So you'd put it in the middle. Actually, I'll have to rethink about how I want to put these out. But I can put it in the middle, like for example, here. I'm going to move it from here afterwards because obviously it's in the middle of the doorway. But you would put it in the middle of your of your drawers. It will reach out to drawers uh, up to 12 away. And I'm guessing 12 in height. So it's 12 in either direction and upwards. And it will put things in all the drawers that it's connected to. So, for example, well, this isn't going to work with the with the quartz because the quartz isn't connected. But if if you had if all these were connected, you could put the quartz in here, and it would automatically go in its drawer. Let's see if I have anything that I could the redstone. So instead of me going to oh no, I need it as a block. Okay, let's make that. Actually, that would be perfect for the compacting drawers. Uh, where is the Paxel? There it is. So if I take that away and take that away, so then I can explain about the compacting drawers and the draw controller at the same time. Now the compacting drawer, because each storage drawer only holds one thing. With the compact... oh, I'll have to turn that around in a second. With the compacting drawers, it will take one thing, it will turn it into um, a block form, 
or and or nugget if it has a nugget form so for example if i put the redstone in here i can either take out single redstone or it will compact it so where are and then the blocks of redstone that i have i can right click on the draw controller and it will put them all into the into the appropriate drawer so i now have 338 blocks of redstone or 3050 pieces of redstone if i wanted them singly and actually i can take out the um, lapis lazuli and i could do the same thing let's turn you around see it's a pity that the crescent wrench isn't in this i don't know if there's any other kind of wrenches in here because the crescent wrench would have turned that around for me I don't know which pack the crescent wrench is in. I think that might be extra utilities. But that was good for that. But yeah, so I've put in the lapis. And at the moment, there's one block of lapis. No, sorry, there's a whole stack of lapis. A whole stack of blocks. 64 blocks of lapis, or 576 pieces of lapis. And I can keep adding. So now I have 67 blocks. And it's gone up to 603. And you can also use that for, for example, I've got my iron. I could take that out. Um, put in a compacting drawer. And put the iron in. And it's converted it into blocks of iron normal iron ingots or nuggets so compacting drawers are very very useful and you keep right clicking sorry i love to yeah you have to right click on the area that has the little picture that you need so the ingots if i keep right clicking on the ingot it will put them all in and then if i left click where i want then i can take out it took me a little bit of a while to work that one out but in the end you get there you do take a number of tries to get it but once you get it it it's pretty easy so you left click to take out and right click to put in and you always like click on the icon that you need so if you want ingots you do it on the ingots if you want blocks you do it on the blocks on the drawers themselves obviously you just got to aim for the picture on the front and not worry have to you don't have to worry about which part of the drawer you're clicking on as long as it's on the front so let's open our loot crates our loot chests before we finish the episode uh oh waystones that'd be useful if i go off by myself oak and stone okay that's not too bad and what else no nope, don't open the door that's not what i wanted to do Oh, eight nickel, eight silver, eight lead, and eight copper. I won't say no to that one. So let's go and put those in our little trunk. Um, where's the other one? There you go, copper. So that will go in the pulvis. As you can see, it is just, you know, going like the clappers. It does use up a lot, but we, we will... Hopefully, in the next episode, we will have... Actually, let's check on the, the coke oven. And I need to take this... No, I think I'll leave it in front of the doorway. And again, with the ladders. I think I might... I, I need to re, rethink, rejig the house. I don't know what I want to do with it. It's only at 38%. Yeah. So, in the next episode, because this is it for this episode, because I've just realised, looking at my um, my timer, I've gone a little bit over time. What is it? Oh. Oh! That's like a little anteroom. I didn't even realise that was there. <laughs> because I'm just so used to just sliding up and down the thing but that's like a little little anteroom maybe i could use that as my storage room hmm right so um 
so yes we've got a lot done in this episode we made the portable it's not even in there because i put it in my backpack the portable nullifier we made a start into immerse engineering and built our coke oven so that's it for this episode please like comment and subscribe for more great content it will help to grow my channel okay thanks for watching Bye bye